All right, we're back with another Goodwill haul. So, all right, we're gonna do another Goodwill haul. So hit it. Hi, I'm Charles. I'm Angelique's husband. And together, we go to Goodwill way too much. We also sell a lot of stuff we get at Goodwill on our Poshmark closet. It's called the Deegans. We're the Deegans. It's named after us. Links to everything in the description. All right, so this is my continuing mission to get through the way too many hauls we've done from Goodwill. Um, I think in my last video I said we had been three times. Well, this is about a week later, so another week. Another trip to the bins. Actually, scratch that. This, this haul I'm looking at is not from the bins. Uh, this is just from uh, Dollar Days. Maybe Dollar Days? Maybe Red Tags? Uh, one of the Goodwill stores. All right. Oh. Up first, we have one of my picks um, yeah this is definitely these are definitely from Goodwill store um, this was red tag day but I think we already cut the tags off anyway I will be noting if these were my finds or my wife's finds these are a pair of Ann Taylor jeans um, these were my find um, I know we've says Ann Taylor on the button um, we had a couple pairs of Ann Taylor jeans. Um, they seem to they seem to get a lot of interest. They seem to do really well. Uh, so I went ahead and picked those out. Okay. Up next, um, now we have my wife's find. She was really excited to find this because this is the first time she found it. For our closet, it is a Lou LaRoe. Now this is an XL dress, um, and she just thought it was really neat. Um, dress with pockets. <laughs> I, I do like pockets on my dresses. Um, means that I don't have to carry phones and those gigantic purse wallets in my pockets and I get to save my pockets for getting candy um, from the from the take a after dinner mint things they put at the front of restaurants I am a child anyway um, I I like this um, the two colors complement nicely um, there's a little uh, there's kind of this texture all over the dress um, uh, makes it just pop a little bit um, so and it's a Lululemon um, we've never had that in our clothes before so another unicorn has been hunted are you supposed to hunt unicorns that sounds probably bad okay Moving right along, we have another one of my wife's finds. This is a J. Crew XL tank top, um, and she just thought this was a really neat pattern, and it is kind of a neat pattern. Um, the polka dots are not evenly spaced. It looks a little bit like someone just took a paintbrush, and just, which is pretty cool. Um, it's J. Crew, so it's good quality. Um, Good quality brand and let's see 100% uh, cotton um, doesn't say where it was made this is just the instructions on how to wash it uh, looks like it's something you just throw in the washing machine but um, nice piece um, definitely I think something that'll something that'll move probably something that'll bundle with something else um, so up next another one of my wife's picks we have a Tahari 
Arthur S. Levin, 18, made in Vietnam, or possibly a Vietnamese 18. Um, doesn't actually say the words made. And it's a nice, very, very um, 80s inspired jacket. Um, with the nice, nice belt that, and that yellow trim that really pop. Um, and one of my, huh, and please feel free to take this with a grain of salt, but one of my least favorite things about jackets, shoulder pads. Of course, I don't wear a whole lot of women's jackets, so the shoulder pads, maybe I just don't understand it. Um, I don't feel it in here. It's a really nice um, lining. I wonder if I can see the material. Uh-oh. Um, oh, I just unbuttoned it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Ah, so the buttons are... The buttons actually don't go through. They're just uh, snap buttons. That's not something you see on coats very often. Or, eh, it probably is. Anyway, um, let's see. This is the shell. The outside is 97% cotton and surprisingly 3% spandex. Um, what if you can need any stretch on the shell? Um, the lining is 100% acetate. Acetate? Acetate? Nah. Eh. I don't have to look at how that is pronounced. Uh, the combination is 60. 56% cotton, 42% polyester, and 2% spandex. Again, that spandex really surprises me uh, because you don't really need a lot of stretch in a coat. Um, and this doesn't really feel like it has any stretch, but maybe it keeps it able to flex and bend with you so you can stay warm in the winter. Um, I do not know. I just know that it's a pretty, pretty neat design. Um, I definitely think that'll bring a lot of I definitely think this will get a lot of likes and get some attention, um, even if it doesn't sell right away. Okay, up next we have another pick of my wife's, a Style Co. Style Co. Large, 100% um, polyester. Um, it's, oh, well, I'm not sure what you call this. It's a tank top, but then it's got this uh, extra layer that's really kind of like flying squirrel, so definitely something to keep an eye on. A really, really nice color. Um, see through the wings of the flying squirrel outfit. I should call it a flying squirrel outfit because you probably won't look like a flying squirrel. You'll probably look very, very nice in this if you choose to buy it. Uh, anyway, it's large, 100% polyester, and made in Indonesia. Um, so it's pretty, pretty nice piece. Um, and with that, we're going to take a short break. Okay, and we're back. Right now, we got another one of my wife's picks. Uh, this is a truly, truly, um, and it's. Nice jacket. Um, it's got these nice big buttons on it. Um, so they'll nice attention grammar. Uh, and this interesting. I guess those are supposed to be berries or something um, pattern on the inside. Um, there you can get a better look at it. Yeah, but uh, a white jacket with a with a colorful lining and some big buttons and pockets with extra buttons. Huh. Anything in any of these other pockets? Oh, these are just the... Yeah, the pockets don't actually fold over. Those folds are... and these buttons are just for show. But these buttons are all functional, so... It's not all... It's not, not all just... Not all just for looks. Um, and the little pattern right here where with belt, also not a real belt, but 
gives the illusion nonetheless. Um, definitely a great find to have with winter coming up. Um, nice warm heavy jackets should do really well in the winter. Okay, if you're noticing a pattern here as far as the finds, um, well, I basically go through the jeans, my wife goes through the, um, the tops. We got a lot more tops. Maybe I'm a bit pickier. Who knows? Um, up next, we have a Petite Pedalton. Um, and it is a pink. Ooh. Well, it has this very interesting pattern with these little four pointed stars. And if you. I feel like if I stare at this, a sailboat's gonna pop out at me. And. I gotta stop staring at it. Um, but this is a nice jacket. Um, really, really interesting buttons. Um, they're they're indeed plastic, but they look like they're. If this will focus, uh, maybe this button will do a little better. Yeah, they look like they're they look like they're string wrapped around, but they are just in fact an interesting plastic pattern. Um, it does have two pockets down here. They're not very deep pockets, but you could definitely fit your keys in there. And um, let's get a look. Uh, oh, nope. The tag down here doesn't, in fact, say the materials. It just says that it's dry clean only. So let's keep looking for those. Oh, it says right here on the label. Um, it says it is 100% virgin wool. Um, virgin wool. So 100% wool. Um, I'm not sure what the version is. I'll have to look this up, but I think that virgin wool is the... I think it's the first time they shave the sheep. Um, that makes it the virgin wool, because it's the first wool from the sheep. Um, I'll have to look that up, or I'm sure one of the viewers can can correct me in the comments. Um, oh, and this was made right here in the USA, um, specifically in Pendleton Woolen Mills, Portland, Oregon. Uh, that, might, that might just be where the 100% uh, the virgin wool is from. Virgin wool. Virgin wool. Wool. <laughs> Okay. Okay, up next we have my other pick. <laughs> I only got two picks out of this entire bin. I thought I had I thought I had more, but we might have put them back. Or maybe I'm thinking of another trip. Um, so these are a pair of Talbot's Petite Stretch jeans. Um, they are 99% cotton and 1% spandex. Um, let's see where they're made. Made in Thailand. Size 14. Um, yeah, uh, Talbot's is just another one of those brands that seems to get a lot of attention with the jeans. Um, the fact that they're stretch jeans means that they're definitely going to be comfortable. Um, but I don't see any real damage with them. Don't see any. Um, don't see any issues. So that's why I picked them up. Okay. Up next we have a chaps shirt. Um, this is the button up or button down. Um, it is a two X. I can never remember the difference between button up and button down. Um, Something to do with the collar, but uh, I don't know. Another thing that my viewers can correct me with in the comments. Um, now, like I said, this is a 2X. It is made in Indonesia and it is 100% cotton and it is quite the interesting pattern. Um, kind of reminds me of like a like a bandana like you'd see in like a like a Western film, but a lot, lot more colorful. Um, oh. it's, it's 
a really, really eye-catching shirt. Um, I think it'll, I think it'll do well. Okay, up next, we have a piece that I am excited about, um, but it has no tags. What could it be? What could it be? It is. <laughs> it is. Under Armour. Um, so it's an Under Armour athletic shirt. Um, it's got a little bit of stretch to it, so it probably has some degree of uh, spandex in it. Um, it's textured, uh, so again, that will definitely looks like a great shirt to, to go running in. Um, something that you could, something that should do good in fall, which, well, I guess we're in fall now, so, are we in fall? Maybe we're in fall now, um, so definitely, definitely a good piece for the season. Um, oh, my stack's getting a little high. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> you can't see down there, but my stack of clothes that I've been making just tumbled over, so I'll have to take care of that later. Um, up next. Ann Taylor, size 6 dress. Um, the shell is 100% silk. The lining, which, oh, yep, it does have lining. The lining is 55% acrylic and 45% rayon, made in China. Um, and, you know, we have another dress in our closet that I believe is also Ann Taylor. Actually, it might have sold. Um, but it's the same color, same design. Um, it's got this real nice um, real nice kind of uh, I guess distressed look to it um, but um, that is actually just part of the pattern and it makes it look kind of I don't know makes it look like it's just makes it look like it's a Makes it look like it's a little bit tougher material than it actually is. Um, that took me a long time to finish that thought, um, but th you know, if the last dress like this sold, this dress gonna do the same. Okay, well, let's start a new pile. Um, we're almost done. We only have three more pieces, um, and oh. Oh, no, this was also, I believe this was also a me find. Um, if it's not, I'm sorry, honey. Uh, don't mean to take credit. But it is a Talbot's size 6 made in the USA of imported fabrics. Um, so what are those imported fabrics? Does it say? Um, let's see. Ah, those imported fabrics are 100% polyester on the shell and 100% Accutate on the inside. Um, didn't know that those needed to be imported, but maybe they're a special kind. Um, I did recently hear that there are different types of polyester, so just having the 100% polyester really doesn't tell you much about the quality of the piece of clothing. Um, you know, this does have a zipper in the back, and it has these fake, if you can see them, they're black on black, so you might not be able to, but it's got these fake buttons along the front. Um, they are, in fact, just for show, um, so not functional buttons. And I can feel in the shoulders, shoulder pads. I really do not understand shoulder pads. Maybe it's because I don't wear dresses, but I just assume that having shoulder pads would kind of make you look like a linebacker. Well, I really don't have... Okay, the rest of the video like this. Oh god, that is too much. <laughs> okay, up next we have a Charlotte Little uh, U.S. Small um, CA. I guess that's Canada, small, petite, UK small, European small. So small in the entire English-speaking world, except for Australia. Um, 
It is made in Peru, um, and it's got these buttons on the shoulders, and yeah, they are they are functional buttons. Um, maybe functional buttons. I guess they're little little vents in case your shoulders got warm. Um, but it's a nice color. No, uh, no issues. Um, very nice piece. And the last piece, um, probably one of my personal favorites, even if it won't sell particularly well. It is a Minnie Mouse. Appears to be dressed as Fred Flintstone, although that could, that's probably just a generic witch. Yeah, she's a, she's a witch. Uh, just in time for Halloween, Minnie Mouse dressed as a witch. Um, this is from Disney Paris. Authentic original. Um, so, extra small. Um, there. Uh, so, yeah. Um, my personal reason for liking this is because my daughter, um, she just absolutely loves Minnie Mouse. Um, she, she really likes watching, uh, she really likes watching all the little Minnie's boutique, boutique? Yeah, shorts on Disney, and, um, she has a little stuffed Minnie Mouse that she likes to sleep with, um, every night, so, personal connection to this little, this little rodent. Don't, don't really like Minnie Mouse, I like my daughter. Well, I like Minnie, love my daughter. <laughs> and with that, um, that brings us to the end of the haul. Um, so, what do I think of these pieces? Um, I mean, this was from just a regular Goodwill store. Um, it was on the red tag day. I believe every one of these was red tag, so they were all 50% off. Um, the exception being one of the pairs of jeans, uh, which was 35% off with the manager special. And then we also, at this Goodwill, got an additional 15% off of everything because we had donated some stuff, so they give you a coupon for that. Um, so with all that added up, it's almost as, almost as great prices as the bins. Um, and a lot of the pieces are in a lot better quality than you find the bins. Just, just one of the things, one of the things you get used to while, while thrifting. Uh, but some very interesting pieces. Um, I definitely like the, I definitely like a lot of the jackets. I think going into, going into winter and fall. Those are going to be those are going to be hot items, and not just hot in the fact that they'll keep you warm. Um, so, oh, and I also really like the two pants, two pairs of pants I picked out. I could have swore I picked out more, but I think I might be remembering a different trip. Um, so, until next time, I've been. Well, hang on, hang on. Until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe, um, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about any of these items, feel free to drop us an email. The link is in the description. Um, it's thedeacons17 at gmail.com. Check the description though, I might be wrong on that. I don't email myself a lot. And also, links to all of these and links to our closet in the description. So just any anything, it's all, it's all down here. Just scroll and click on stuff. Um, until next time. I've been Charles, and I'll see you later. And we're back. Um, so, you know the drill. Box, video. It's one of our old ones. Um, until next time.